Hi everybody and welcome back. So it's been two years since I've made a video and I felt like now was the time to come back. I had originally planned to come back in July as I was due to be going to Florida but then obviously with coronavirus it got cancelled so I'm not going to Florida anymore but that's okay. I went last year so it's okay. Um, so as I said I was planning to come back. I bought a new camera for that so we have now the Canon G7X, but obviously we're not going, but we might as well use our camera. So what are we doing today? What is gonna be my big comeback video? I was thinking and thinking, and really in my head I was thinking my big comeback video is Florida, but it's canceled. So I went out, bought a crap ton of makeup, and I'm doing a mainly drugstore haul but however there is a couple of things that aren't drugstore so you'll forget I hope you'll forgive that bit but most 90% of it is drugstore so I bought a pile of stuff today my face is blank not in this video but in the next video that I'm going to make I'm going to do a first impressions of all my new makeup let's just get on with the video or else this intro is going to be so long so we'll go for the expensive stuff first I bought the Jaclyn Hill the flash palette can you guys see that I have used this once and the color I used was actually this color here no it wasn't it was this color here which is iced so they're beautiful if you can see the next thing I bought was the luminous powder I forget exactly what this is called as I said I don't have the box for it anymore but I got it in the color brighten up which is the second shade I haven't used this yet but it is out of box it's the second shade so I don't know the exact color of it yet I also bought the uh, loose highlighter the little mini one and this is in the color bomb once again this is the second shade so on to a haul from Superdrug actually having a 20% discount for anybody who works in the NHS and if you don't know what the NHS is it is the UK's healthcare system which is free for like anyone I think or maybe it's just citizens who live in the UK I'm actually part of the NHS so I got 20% off everything in this part of the haul. I also have a, a little bit of a haul from Beauty Bay, which I'll get into. So these two items I've actually used because uh, I've started using them. So i seen the Bior Free Your Pores Rose Quartz and Charcoal. So this is a gentle pore scrub. I've used it once and it made my face feel lovely. The next thing I bought was the Daily Purifying Cleanser. It's the same brand, same everything. I've used it a few times and I actually really like it. Uh, Superdrug's own brand skincare. Now I, this is all in box. I haven't tried this yet. But this is their new brand. So I got an eye cream in the gold packaging. I got a day cream in the gold packaging. I got a night cream in the gold packaging. The reason I'm saying gold is because there's two pink packages. Uh, treatment serum once again in the gold packaging and then this is the pink one. This is the Instant Anti-Wrinkle Swiss Ice Wine Face and Neck Cream. And then an Anti-Wrinkle Swiss and Ice Wine Eye Cream. So this is meant to lift, smooth and replenish. Okay, so next is this bucket. Now, I love beauty sponges. So I bought these. These are blending sponges. It's a nine pack and I feel like you can never have too many sponges. They're all different shapes. You have a uh, one, two, three, three small ones. You have three large ones and then three of these weird shaped ones. Like almost like corkscrew. It kind of kind of looks like a quartz screw but yeah so I bought them. So I bought the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. I haven't tried this before. It, say, it says that it's up to 16 hour wear and a matte finish. I also got this Makeup Revolution London Glow Revolution Prime Satin Glow. So it's like you shake it and it like shakes up. It sort of looks a bit like the iconic London, uh, the iconic London setting sprays. I don't know what this is for. Uh, the iconic London setting sprays, but I've never tried iconic London brand, uh, the brand before. So I can't tell you if it's anything like it but it sort of looks like that I also got one last setting spray same brand makeup revolution hydrate and fix a uh, fixing spray now I am normal to dry skin so 
I wanted to try this to see what it was like. Okay. On to e.l.f. I got two things from e.l.f. I think. I don't, I don't think I got anything else. But I got last year the Poreless Putty Primer and absolutely love it. So I decided to try the Luminous Putty Primer. So I'm looking forward to try that out. The other product I got from e.l.f. was this concealer. Now I got it in a darker colour um, as I'm looking to do cream contour with it because of coronavirus there's no samples for me to try swatches or anything so I'm just sort of held it up to my face and was like yeah that might do so I don't actually know if this will work so we'll see but I'm sure the formula will work all right but I don't know if the shade will so I decided since I'm doing a whole face of drugstore makeup I need to try a new drugstore eyeshadow palette so I bought this 12 pan a uh, 12 pan shadow palette from R Rimmel London and it magnif it's the magnify eyes blush edition so these colors appeal to me so I got these hopefully they're nice I decided obviously eyeliner I'm an eyeliner girl so I got the Maybelline dramatic up to 24 I 24 hours gel liner I have tried this before years and years ago amazing I loved it so I bought another one so then obviously setting powder I bought Rimmel London matching perfection silk loose powder I got a bronzer. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is in the shade Medium Cool. I thought this would be a nice contour colour. So yeah, I got that. And then sticking with Maybelline, I got the Face Studio Chrome Extreme uh, Metallic Highlighter in Diamond Glow. And then from the brand MUA, which I don't know if you can actually get in America or other countries, but you can get it here. This is MUA Makeup Academy. I don't know, comment below if you can get it somewhere else. But this is a bronzer that I bought and it's just a matte bronzer and it's shade 100 Solar. I bought from L'Oreal two different eyebrow pencils. So I got two, one is in 03 Brunette and the other one is in 02 Blonde. I seen uh, this uh, concealer, I've never seen it before, Revlon New uh, Photo Ready Candid. Now this was the lightest shade they had, it looks very yellow, it's called, it's 01 and it's actually called Banana. So I don't know if this is going to work because as I said there was no samples to try because of obviously coronavirus, so we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, uh, my partner's sister, she tans a fake tan, tan so that this will probably work for her okay so back onto makeup revolution I got a hydrate and prime primer and this is just it just says hydrate on it once again haven't tried it before another thing I bought from makeup revolution was their shade stick I think that's what you call it it doesn't actually say but it's a foundation stick and it's in the shade F3. So once again, I'm hoping it will work. I bought two concealers, which you'll see I actually bought one on Beauty Bay. So I've bought two of the same concealer. So the first one I bought was the Revolution Seal and Confine. So this is meant to be the dupe for Shape Tape. I've never used Shape Tape before, so I can't comment if it is the same or not, but this is meant to be the dupe of that. So then Makeup Revolution has come out with a Conceal and Hydrate version of that. It's a in a little bit of a bigger tube. It is a uh, 0.45 ounces, whereas the other one is 0.14 ounces. So we get a good bit of a difference in these two. Since we were on brows earlier, I like a gel to set my brows, no matter what I do. If I use powder, if I use pencil, pen whatever on my brows I like to set them with a gel so I got this from Rimmel London and I got it in a clear gel because I didn't really know what shade I was because once again I can't shade match so I got the it's called the brow this way and it's a clear brow gel again from Rimmel London I got this contour highlight and blush kit this is uh, by Kate so I'm assuming it's Kate Moss well it does have a picture of Kate Moss in the back so we have a highlighter a bronzer and a blusher and this is in the shade 2 coral glow 
sticking with Rimmel London, I have tried this foundation in the past and I liked it. So I remember I decided I was going to buy it. So I got the Rimmel London Long Lasting Radiance uh, Foundation and Concealer. And the reason I got this, I originally I remember Tanya Burr, whenever she did her YouTube videos, loved this. So I repurchased it. On to lipsticks. We have three different shades. They're both they're from Maybelline New York and they're the Superstay Matte Ink. I love this formula of lipstick. This is, seems to be the only liquid lipstick that actually stays on my lips all day, eating, drinking, everything. And I have Jeffree Star, Anastasia, I have Morphe, I have lots of different brands, Kylie, everything. So I got three new shades. I got 95 Visionary, which is this like purpley color, like a mothy purple color. I got 145 and this is called Front Runner and I got 140 and this is called Soloist. I think this is a beautiful color here. It is coming up on camera very red but it's actually more of a purpley pink color and this one the other one which is Soloist is another purpley color. It's just more of a pinky purpley color. I got a blusher from Makeup Academy so MUA and this is in Rouge Punch, is that how you say that or is it Rough Punch? Rouge Punch and it's that nice colour there. And lastly I have tried this before and loved it. This is the Maybelline uh, The Colossal Smoky Black Mascara because if I'm going to try a whole face of drugstore I wanted all new stuff to try it with. So that was that. But now on to the Beauty Bay section. Beauty Bay is an online UK based uh, beauty makeup beauty related shop so I bought a whole heap of stuff it's all in this bag and a couple of things not in the bag that obviously didn't fit so as I said before I'm on a bit of a skincare kick I'm looking new skincare new stuff to try out so Beauty Bay recently came out with skincare it might not be that recent because I've been trying to get my hands on it for months but anytime I go to buy it it sells out so when I was on the other day it had a couple of things I wanted to try so I bought them this one is the super jelly cleansing gel this is the thing that is always sold out so it must be good if it's always sold out because it actually has a uh, good review so I bought this to try and then there is the hydrating serum and it's got hydro hydrolic I can't say it Hy hyaluronic acid that's how you say it it has hyaluronic acid and, gly and glycogen and yeah so that's our hydrating serum then we have it says day one moisturizer I don't really know what that means but anyway it has words that I can't say in it but that's it there it's protecting and hydrating on the skin then I bought the make it rain face mist mineral and super berry blend now it did say it was 50 mils I thought 50 mils would be a little bit bigger than that obviously I was wrong so this probably won't last very long but I'll once again let you know how it goes last skincare thing I bought was the acid trip exfoliating toner so it has AHA and PHA no idea what that is but once again this was always sold out too so I decided I had to get it Um, when I was thinking about doing a all drugstore makeup first impressions I decided this was before I went and bought the super drug stuff that I wanted to try the Juno & Co microfiber velvet velvet sponge now this was about seven pounds and I think I've never tried a microfiber sponge but I have enough sponges now to do me a lifetime so yeah I bought this one and we're actually coming to the end of the haul so only have this much left so you're all right <laughs> thanks for hanging on this long um my sister-in-law and actually a lot of people have recommended the RCMA uh, translucent powder so for years haven't bought it but I decided when I was online I would buy it so I'm going to try this out and see what it's like there is a lot of product in this there's like how, how much is it there's like three ounces in this and my um laura mercier one only has one ounce um like size difference you know 
Um, I also bought the shade, uh, sorry, the Conceal and Hydrate, which I also bought today again, forgetting I bought it, but I actually bought this in shade C3. So I have a C2 and a C3 now. And then lastly, I bought four blushers, and this is all from Makeup Revolution. Three of them are quite similar colors because these are the colors that I tend to go for. So they're more of peachy colors. So we have this one, Peaches and Cream. We have Peach Bliss, which is this one. And we have Rhubarb Custard. So they're kind of similar colors. Then this one is a little bit different for me. It's a bit more lilac tone into it. It is Violet Love. And I thought they were beautiful. So that is my massive haul, mainly drugstore. There's a couple of things that isn't drugstore. The Beauty Best skincare stuff is very affordable, so it is. So uh, I wouldn't say they're drugstore, but they're very affordable. And I have tried some Beauty Bay uh, brand stuff before and no complaints. Yeah. Anywho, let me say goodbye to you guys. I've really enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you are all keeping safe and yeah I really missed you guys thanks for watching bye